guys welcome or welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing a winter hair routine for growth using the new camille rose black castor oil and chabe collection currently one of my main hair goals is to retain length and i do plan on using these products consistently in order to see if it really helps to make a difference in retaining growth and length both castor oil and chebe are great ingredients for increasing hair's flexibility and decreasing the chances of breakage in the long run so i'm really excited to try out this new line as you guys can see my hair is pretty gross it's not super dirty but i used some products that i was just not feeling and it left my hair feeling very gross so let's hop in the shower cleanse and put these products up to the test so i'm gonna start out by rinsing out that old product i have in my hair and i'm gonna go in with the camille rose caramel co-wash just to lubricate my strands a little bit before i detangle and then i'm gonna go in with the shampoo once i'm satisfied with how detangled my hair is i'm gonna go in with the black castor oil and chabe cleanse shampoo I really can't resist the urge to smell a product before I use it, so that's what you're seeing me do here. Looks like I was pretty happy with the scent of this product. I really like the packaging of this um, bottle because of that little spout at the end. It made applying the shampoo to my hair and particularly my roots very, very convenient. I'm gonna start out by focusing this product on my roots and then sort of move the product through the strands of my hair. I have really, really flaky dandruff, itchy scalp, so I really wanna focus on making sure my scalp is squeaky, squeaky clean. So now that I have the shampoo fully rinsed from my hair, I just want to show you guys what my hair is looking like. It feels very, very moisturized actually. It doesn't feel stripped of the moisture, which is really nice. I'm still running my fingers through my hair. So I'm going to divide my hair into two and we're going to go ahead and apply the deep conditioner. Time for a scent test and as you guys can see I liked the smell but I wasn't really crazy about the smell so you guys right away I noticed that my hair was drinking up this deep conditioner it loved this product. So I'm gonna finish off this application starting with the ends of my hair through my roots and into my crown. That's the driest part of my hair. So I really wanna focus this deep conditioner on that part of my hair. So now that I have this deep conditioner fully distributed throughout my strands, I'm going to go ahead and let this sit and cook in my hair for about 10, maybe 20 minutes, depending on how much time I have. Come back and I will share my final thoughts on these products and finish up the tutorial. Okay guys, so I am back and we are going to go ahead and chit chat a little bit about the Camille Rose Black Castor Oil and Cheve Cleanse and Deep Conditioner. I really, really, really enjoyed these products, you guys. I'm going to start out by talking about the Black Castor Oil and Cheve Cleanse. 
this, as you can see, a little went a long way. I didn't have to use a whole lot of this product. Granted, my hair wasn't super dirty prior to washing my hair, but I was really, really impressed with the results of this wash. I felt like I got a really nice deep cleanse from this without it really stripping my hair of all of its moisture, so I really, really liked that. I also really enjoyed the scent of this product. It has a really refreshing, clean, almost like citrusy scent. I didn't really smell much of a black castor oil scent, which in my opinion is kind of a good thing. For some reason, the scent of citrus was really standing out to me. I am not really sure what Chebe smells like, Maybe if you guys do, you can hop in the comments and let me know what that's supposed to smell like. Maybe it's close to a citrus. I don't really know. I just know in the times that I have seen Chambe, I've seen it in a powder form. So anyway, hop in the comments and let me know what you think in terms of a scent. But I really, really liked this product. When I was done washing my hair, I don't know if you guys noticed in the video, I was able to just go through with my wide tooth comb and brush through my hair just fine. So that just goes to show that this did not strip my hair of all of its moisture. I didn't feel like it was just really like tugging or it was difficult to detangle my hair after a wash. So yeah, so this black castor oil and Chebe cleanse gets a 10 out of 10 from me. Moving on to the black castor oil and Chebe deep conditioner. I really, really liked this deep conditioner. My hair just soaked up and drank up this product. It worked really, really beautifully. I'm gonna just show it again, just in case. It was difficult to see it in my shower. I kind of felt like my footage was a little weird in my shower. Yeah, sorry about that, you guys. But yeah, this was an amazing product. I actually felt like I could have gone a little less heavy handed with it. A little seemed to go a long way as well, but just inherently for some reason, I'm just really heavy handed with product. I don't know why. One thing I will say is I wasn't really crazy about the scent. I thought the scent was okay, but nothing really stand out and super amazing. I liked it, but I wasn't really in love with it. In fact, I felt like the scent of this product does smell really warm and nutritious, I guess you could say, but it was sort of neutral. It doesn't smell floral or really fruity at all. I would say there's maybe a hint of the black castor oil scent in this, which is why I would say I'm not personally crazy about that, but it certainly wasn't bad. Some of my favorite natural hair products have the same exact scent, but much more about how the product functions than how it smells. So yeah, for that, I will give this a nine out of 10. The scent could have just been a little bit better, but it worked beautifully. So those are my thoughts on the cleanser and the deep conditioner from this line. Let's go ahead and braid my hair up and we'll talk more about the other two items that I have here with me. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be doing a very, very simple, simple style here. By the way, let's take a quick look at the way my hair is looking. I'll tell you what, it's feeling really, really nice. I'm loving the way my hair feels right now. It's feeling very moisturized and just, I don't know, just really good, really, really good. And it smells even better. I'm just gonna go ahead and part my hair down the middle. We're gonna do a really, really, really simple Simple, simple braided style today. I really want to more so give you guys my thoughts on this line than I do, um, than I care so much about this particular style. It's not really meant to be anything too fancy. Just the style that I'm gonna be letting my hair sit in and relax in and be untouched in. With the product. So don't judge me for these parts that I'm making in my hair right now. I don't know what they're looking like in the back, so. So I'm just gonna lightly re-wet my hair, just in the parts where it seems like it's dry. So now that my hair is wet enough to kind of absorb a product a little bit better, the very first item that I'm gonna be trying out here today is going to be this black castor oil and Chebe. Chebe? Chebe? I'm not really sure. The Buttercream Strengthening Texture Butter. Let's see what this bad boy is looking like. 
Oh yeah, this is very, very thick. Perfect for a nourishing, protected winter style. See this consistency? Oh. Oh yeah, you guys, this is really, really nice. Oh, it smells really good too. This almost smells like berries or something. Anyway, I'm gonna be starting from the bottom and work my way up my hair shop. Going back in with a little bit more. And I'm going in at the crown of my hair where my hair tends to be a little bit more dry. Do you guys see how this product is going through my hair? I mean, it's soaking it right up. It doesn't seem too heavy, which usually for my hair type, I don't do too much butters, but this is creamy enough that my hair really seems to like it a lot. So gonna get that into my edges. And now just to seal that up a little bit, we're gonna go in with that oil from the same line. Before I decide how I'm going to distribute this into my hair, let's just see what the texture is like. If it's really thick, we're gonna go very light and we'll just focus on sealing my ends with this product. But if it's on the lighter side, I'll probably cover this all over my hair. Well, that definitely smells like black castor oil, you guys. <laughs> Let's just see what the texture of this product is like. Yep, very, very thick. You guys can probably tell by the way it's coming out. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put this on the oldest parts of my hair at the ends and work my way up my hair. And we're just gonna use this product to seal. And I'm gonna put a little bit more into my edges. Because let me tell you something. <laughs> I want to grow my edges to be as long and as strong as they can possibly be. Usually I struggle with my edges, so I'm gonna get my smoothing brush just for this of my hair and I'm gonna be braiding my hair a little bit closer to the front of my face because of the way that I plan on wearing the style it's a very simple style you guys nothing too crazy at all Because I'm planning on pinning these braids over to the top of my head, this is why I'm really trying to kind of condition my hair to be pulled in that direction. I'm gonna grab my little parting comb and just curl my ends. You guys can see this is almost like right on my ear because we're gonna be going like this with the braid. So. And just to make sure that product is evenly distributed throughout my hair, I'm going back in with my Camille Rose brush. And again, focusing that on my ends. I have some shorter pieces in the front because I'm trying to grow out my bangs. I have some bangs and back into my edges. All 
right guys this is what the braids are looking like it's a little it's not the cutest but we're not really going for vein we're going for something that is gonna just be God, I just fixed my nail the other day. My nail is broken again. I'm gonna tuck in my edges. So now that I have my braids together, I have a bunch of bobby pins here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pin these braids up the way that I want them to sit. And I'm really pulling as tight as I can with this, and I'm pinning from behind my part. All right guys, so this is my final sort of a braided pinned up look. It's not really perfect, but this is what I'm going to be keeping my hair in and allowing my hair to rest. That is really the purpose of wearing a style like this. This is very low manipulation and it's gonna allow my hair to just be protected as opposed to just sort of exposed to the elements. So. Once I'm ready to take this down, I'm sure it's gonna result in a really beautiful defined braid out. So you kind of get two styles in one. Some quick thoughts on these products. I absolutely love these and I am excited to see how this braid out actually comes out. I feel like these products are super nourishing. The oil is a little bit on the heavy side, so I would recommend going light-handed on a heavy oil like this if you have a hair type like mine or something a little bit more of a looser texture because it's really going to end up weighing your hair down. But this again is for the nourishing purposes of growing hair and in order for this to work underneath braids, you have to take care of your hair underneath with fortifying products like these. I also really loved this butter. I, think I probably prefer the butter between the two products in fact, I'm going to go ahead and say that my two favorite products from this line are the shampoo, the cleanse, and the strengthening texture butter. I just have a really good feeling about this braid out and I love the texture of this product. It feels so, so thick and fortifying and my hair just really drank it up even without a leave-in conditioner, which is something I usually need. But for the sake of this review, I just wanted to try out the products as they were. So for me, I am gonna go ahead and rate these a 8.5 to 9 out of 10 because I just wasn't really crazy about this scent, but other than that, this is still one of the very best black castor oil scented products that I've ever tried. Usually they just don't smell very great to me, in my opinion, that strong castor oil scent. And I felt like this line did a pretty good job of sort of concealing that smell while creating something new and something really beautiful. So. Those are my thoughts on this line. I'm also really excited to see how my hair does when consistently wearing this style or another protective style using this line. I'm very, very excited. I will be continuing to do this throughout the winter months because I don't know, I just feel like the wash and goes become very, very, they kind of prevent growth in my opinion because it's so much manipulation in its own way. So maybe I'll do another video where I'll do a length update and I'll talk to you guys about whether I thought these products really helped and contributed towards my growth. But in the meantime, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video and yeah, leave it a thumbs up if you found it helpful and I'll see you guys in my next one. Take care.